You know, during this lockdown, I've been reflecting and looking back at my life and where I've come from. And I have one thing I want to say. I could have died so many years ago because I was diagnosed with hepatitis B. They said, I have three months to live. Three months. And I was 21 years old. I couldn't believe this. I was like, no way, this is not happening to me. And I remember at that time I was so stressed, so scared. And at that time, I remember going back home to Glenora where I was just building a phone shop. And then Muramba Trina happened and then my phone shop was destroyed. And all things around me seemed to be crumbling. And um, I remember thinking, I'm only 21, I don't have kids. God, this is not right. I cannot die now. I cannot die. And um, I went to the doctor the next day and they said, listen, we're going to try something. We want you to take glucose. But on Monday, we're going to try an antibiotic. You're still young. And then the doctor asked me, do you pray? Do you go to church? And at that time, I never went to church. And um, he said, you know what? This weekend, go to church. Because we don't know what's going to happen. But just go to church. And then um, on that Sunday, I went to church. I went to Celebration Church. And, um, you know, the pastor was preaching, preaching, preaching. And it's as though he was talking about me. You know, you may be sick, but there's a healer. And his name is Jesus Christ. Don't leave this place without him. The service finished. I walked out of the service. When I was at the door, something told me, George, you're going to this thing tomorrow. Why don't you just go back and be prayed for? You lose nothing. And I remember I went there. And there was a woman, I remember her, Auntie Emily. She passed away last year. God rest her soul. And um, I remember she, she looked at me and she said, What would you want? from the Lord and I said I want to be healed and she said okay lift your hands up she said a short prayer and she blew into my face and I fell down you know I got consciousness you know a couple of minutes later I stood up then I was like then she's like you can go then I was like is that it I went didn't feel anything went to the hospital Monday morning went to the doctor's um, you know, got there, then they said, okay, listen, before we perform anything to you, before you go to the pharmacy to buy your medication, we just want to do one x-ray, and then we will conduct what the doctor said. They took an x-ray of me, they compared my x-ray to last week's one, they're like, wait a minute, there was a big hole here, there's a small little hole now, what happened? And, you know, a very small hole, and they could not comprehend what had happened. And, you know, the big hole was a small hole. And by Wednesday, that hole had completely disappeared. And from that day on, I knew that what I did when I went to the altar and asked for my healing is what saved my life. I was saved by my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that is the day I gave my life to the Lord. And ever since, I've never gone back. And it's amazing how that specific incident, you know, came to mind today. I've come this far, it's been so many years down the line. That was 2005, a year after my mom died. I could have been dead too. But during this time, I want to say that I would have never been where I am had I not given my life to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I would have never be this person that I am today without Jesus Christ in my life. You may be going through a hard time right now. You may have lost a lot of things, but God is still God. He's on the throne and he's not going anywhere. All you need to do is to close your eyes and make a prayer. Find somebody Christian believing and just pray together and ask. And I believe that God will do amazing things for you. I hope this blessed you. This is one of my diaries of how I turn my life to Jesus.